curb ramps, if curb ramps are placed diagonally at an intersection, it is important that a clear 48 inch long space is available at the bottom outside of the vehicular lane. For example, this crosswalk here that's marked, they are considering that outside the vehicular lane. Even though a car can still come, big rigs can take those corners pretty darn close. This is still considered outside the vehicular space. And it starts right as soon as it ends the curb ramp. So it's not after the gutter, it's at the end of the ramp. Wherever the curb ramp ends, you take that measurement there. If there's more crossing, now I do care about the flares. I want to have at least two feet beyond the flare that's still within the marking here. A segment of curb at least two feet long beyond the flare must be provided on both sides of the curb ramp with more crossing. Here, not so much. These are not diagonal. Now all that stuff comes into play.